what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and well as you all know it is wednesday which means the new summit is now live and for this week we have the brits which is actually going to be one of the older summits to be honest i'm kind of surprised this one actually did come back but at the same time though the tvr griffith peppermint edition is going to be a pretty awesome streetcar for the most part so it has two big things going for it so for one it's going to be a v8 it's also going to be a manual, which honestly any car guy is by far going to love this thing. But in gold, we have the Union Jack tire. And then in silver, we have a legendary half set boosted for the touring cars. And that's most likely going to be a pretty desired set. Do keep in mind, though, it's most likely only going to be like two and or three parts. So if you guys are missing some parts, at least you can maybe complete a set. And I would say Loot Digger is going to be insanely helpful. But moving over to the next summit, United States East Speed tour which is going to have the USST band tire for the platinum reward which is actually going to be common I really do hope this tire does look kind of cool but then again guys it's also going to be a vanity item you can also move over to Motorfest, so I would probably say it is worth going after and then in gold we have the legendary half set boosted for the rallycross category it does look like that's going to be pure and possibly drifty on there which I would probably say for a rallycross vehicle is by far one of the best of fix it stat builds I really do think that's actually going to be insanely good but looking at the summit though it's going to be a mix of rally cross rally raid and then you're going to have two touring car events and finally an alpha GP race here plus we have a street event on the bottom we're also going to have two different escapes so this one's most likely going to be like one of the powerboat ones and then obviously this one's probably going to be a drag car and or most likely a hypercar so this summit's most likely going to be pretty dang fun but moving over to the last summit at least until the next season and or motorfest is right around the corner we have the proto lucky one marble edition which to be honest guys i was not expecting this car to get a special edition that thing definitely looks insane that front splitter can honestly turn into like a snow plow so i really can't wait to see how that car does actually perform and then moving over to gold is going to be the McLaren Senna, which is obviously going to be some free parts for that thing, which is pretty useful. And then in silver, we have the blinking white lines underglow, which to be honest, guys, I would probably say a lot of people most likely won't care too much for this. I really do think a lot of people most likely want the Proto Lucky 1. If that car is going to be anything like the regular counterpart, it's probably going to be absolutely insane. And then moving over to the Brit Summit right now, guys. So the first one is going to be a slalom. And for this, you definitely guessed it. Instead of me running like a monster truck, which to be honest on this slalom, I would actually say is going to be a bit of a chore. I did indeed decide to run one of the touring car motorcycles. You really cannot go wrong with these bikes, though, because a lot of these slaloms are going to be close together. So being able to use something like a motorcycle is definitely going to make it easier. But if you guys really did want to, though, you can easily run like a rally raid vehicle and or something like a hypercar to be honest though you could most likely run any of the classes as long as you have like a score breaker set which i would say is going to make these slaloms a lot more fun but moving over to the speed trap here so for this one i honestly didn't do that great i wasn't really trying to break records on this one but i also did want to fly through these skills and for this guys i would recommend starting off and jumping into your plane and then once you guys do that you can then fly over the objective and jump back into your your preferred drag car which I would probably say every player is most likely going to use the stingray I know that's probably going to be kind of shocking but once you guys land you then follow that road down just a little bit to the first turn and then of course you turn around and go as fast as you possibly can but one big tip here is to most likely watch out for the AI depending on where they are sitting on that bridge it can definitely ruin the entire run and I would probably say they're going to be insanely good at that but moving over to the next skill is going to be one of the aerobatics and for this it's going to be a pretty simple one so the Zivco Edge really does do a great job I would also say that's why a majority of players most likely use this plane for this do keep in mind guys you don't have to be insanely quick on this either so I wasn't using my nitrous all that often and all you really have to do at least with a score breaker says to get every single one perfect and you can get well over 145k so the aerobatic skills really are going to be very simple and then moving over to the first event is going to be with the new noble m500 to be honest i would actually say this is a pretty decent hypercar for the most part do keep in mind though the top speed on this thing is kind of low so i was noticing in the highway areas the car only does like 297 
One of the biggest highlights is most likely going to be how well this car does do on a straightaway. It really does have like nice overall stability, so I would probably say it's not going to be a terrible car. It's also going to be far from being the worst car as well, so it really isn't going to be terrible. But if you were to use like a different hypercar, you're most likely going to notice a difference. And then moving over to the next event is going to be with the TVR Griffith. For this race guys I would actually say this car is not going to be terrible for being a base level and also having base pro settings on it for that matter so this is actually going to be a pretty good race to really test out this car's performance especially for being stock which I would probably say it's not terrible but do not worry though I will actually do a revisited video to this car after this summit to go over a couple of things I did notice with it which to be honest it actually is decent and it is by far worth going after especially with Motorfest right Right around the corner and then moving over to the next summit guys is going to be a touring car race we actually get to jump back into one of the dominion forsberg events and for this you guessed it i did actually use the ferrari f40 lm which i would probably say compared to many other players you're most likely not going to see this car anywhere and you're probably going to see the fxxk and or the s7r those are by far guys going to be the best touring cars at the moment and I would even say those are probably going to be at least the meta at this time but even then though I would still say something like the F40 LM is still going to be a decent car overall. It's just by far not going to be like the fastest thing out there but moving over to the next event though is going to be a rally cross race and for this I actually decided to use the Ford Fiesta. Now for this guys if you were wondering what is going to be the best cars to use I would probably Probably say the Enforcer Unit Escalade and or the WRC05 Mitsubishi. It's kind of funny how I said those backwards. I guess I am going to be Yoda now, but the Ford Fiesta is by far going to be a great car overall. Is it going to be like the fastest and or the best car? To be honest, I would probably say no, but I would also say it's by far going to be like the top five overall, especially for the way this car does handle. And then moving over to the next event is going to be with the F-Type SVR. I actually haven't really used this car that much, but I did go back in and mess around with the settings. And I did basically a quick run with it, guys. and got around 3 minutes and 22 seconds. I would actually say the F-Type's not going to be a bad car. In fact, in some places, I would actually say this car is pretty decent. I did notice around certain corners though it does tend to slide so I would be slightly careful around corners and do not be afraid to downshift with this car but do keep in mind though it is going to be an 8 speed so you're most likely going to be shifting a lot more often and speaking of shifting guys the last event is going to be a touring car race and one of the new alpha GP events so for this I would recommend going back to automatic it did seem to make this event a lot easier and luckily the Bentley is actually pretty good if you you guys have your ARBs and stuff a tad too high I would recommend lowering them just a tad I did notice going over the boosters the car obviously picks up a lot of speed I know that's kind of a shocker going over a booster but I did notice going around certain corners though you definitely do want to break a tad more often and I would recommend doing that actually before you do hit the turn I was finding myself to get a lot more speed coming out of them and also not running into the wall either and losing time so overall though guys I would say a lot of players are going to like this summit because there is going to be a nice mix of events and luckily there's not going to be any annoying escapes which is always going to be a plus I do know a lot of players most likely do not like those but if you guys have any questions at all let me know in the comments below and as always don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insight
Thank you. 